So out in the woods again, and this time found a really cool one. Purple. I see the white dots on it. And if I'm not mistaken, ooh, yeah, it's nice. slimy. And it looks like brown spores. Looks like it's starting to spore late. It's very hard to tell. It's kind of young. Yeah, I can see some brown there. Which leads me to believe this is Cortinarius iodes. I found a couple of these before, and they're really pretty. There's Most of them have a really deep purple with clear white dots. This one's got almost a flower design on it. That's really cool. Cortinarius iodes. About, I don't know, I'd say 20 feet away from that last Cortinarius that we found. We got these bright ones. And it's got that uh, deep purple with the white dots that I was talking about. And the smaller one back there has got a uh, better coloration to the purple. Oh, I'll just leave it down there. I won't take them out. You can see that deep dark purple. Kind of looks bright in this phone. Oh, where's that right there? There we go. Little brown one next to it. It might be the same. It's just, yeah, it's the same one. It's just uh, all nasty and sporulated. You can see the brown spores on this one a lot clearer. So, let's try to pull that out. Very brown. Yep, Cortinarius iotes. They're really pretty looking. Bright purple, white dots. Um, some people confuse them with uh, bluets, wood bluets, but they are not. Different spore color, slightly different anatomy, more bulbous base. Yep. Cortinarius iotes. Thank you.